Hey, I'm Jeff Rona. I'm a composer for film and TV and games. And some of you may know some of my work there, but some of you may also know me as one of the creators of Orbit, this pretty cool uh, synth that runs in contact. And it really is a synthesizer because it's not just playing back samples, it's really creating sounds uh, as, you, as you use it. And you've probably seen the very cool walkthrough videos, and if not, you should, that Nathan Reitenauer, my partner, has done. But um, while well, those give you a very good sense of what's on, uh, on the screen with Orbit and how to use it, uh, I want to show you a little something under the hood, which is the sounds that it uses. So Orbit, um, as a real quick refresher, has four slots that we call orbits that um, each have a sound and there is a library of a hundred sounds actually 101 sounds that uh, can be put into each orbit and then what uh, the synth does the orbital engine rotates through those sounds continuously and you can go slow you can go fast you can do fades to make things like pads and then you can do them more choppy to create very cool rhythms so one of the first things that we did and that I did to uh, build Orbit was to work on these sounds. Now my studio is filled with all kinds of interesting musical instruments. There's analog synthesizers, digital synthesizers, uh, woodwind instruments, stringed instruments, electric guitars, electric cellos. There's a lot of things and they all went into the making of the sounds for Orbit. You. Uh, can also hear highly processed sounds, so a lot of the sounds in orbit aren't really recognizable necessarily, but um, they all come from interesting sources. What's also interesting about them is that the longer, they're very long, they're not just waveforms, they're not little short samples, they're actually performances, and the longer you hold a note, the longer, the more the sound will continue to uh, change and, and uh, morph. So it's getting brighter, it's getting a little sparkly. Some of the other voices inside of it are, are starting to shift if you can't hear it too well. But even though the fundamental tone doesn't change, because that would be very hard to use in an arrangement, What's great is that you can use it in, back, in the background, you can use it as a pad, you can use it as a, as a, as a bass, you can use it as a, as a lead, and you can hold notes for very long times so that keeps shifting. <clears throat> so, here's a patch. It's using four different patches, four different uh, sounds. But if I shut these off, now we're just focusing in on this one. And uh, it's going through a little bit of processing, a little bit of delay, uh, an impulse response, a little bit of filter. So now you're hearing it. Now we're just hearing that. So now we can go through and uh, you can hear how the different sounds uh, are. And you can hear how it shifts and moves. Let me shut off all the filters here. There we go. So the sounds go from very simple to very complex. This is a big modular synthesizer here in the studio. Sort of obviously. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <clears throat> this 
uh, started off as a vocal sound, but you see as long as I keep holding it down, it keeps shifting and morphing, but that's actually in the sound itself. To me, it's quite beautiful. Again, a very simple analog style sound. very sound designy waveform. But now, if I, let me just randomize four completely different sounds. This is with absolutely no effect or anything. I'm just controlling the way in which the sounds connect to one another. Let me randomize it again. I can just keep hitting random until something we really like comes up. Oh, I like that. Then I can go ahead and add some effects to it. But again, it's, it's all based around these beautiful, uh, unique and interesting sounds. big fat sound it's uh, it's pretty impressive anyway it was uh, it was a labor of love over a period of about a year to uh, to build this catalog of of performances a lot of it came from some of the projects that I worked on over that year and then coming up with this engine as a way to really get them to do something that you couldn't do just by triggering a sample. That was the fun part, and that's kind of the magic of what uh, Orbit is. Anyway, I hope you'll check Orbit out um, if you go to our website, which is widebluesound.com. Uh, you can find some uh, Apple Loops and uh, acidized WAV files of some of our some of these sounds if you want to just sort of play with it. And um, and then you can get the, the uh, instrument there if you like it. So check out Orbit and uh, that's a little bit about how it got uh, put together. Thanks a lot for checking it out.